So here's a little bit of a confession. Sometimes with modular synthesis, I feel like It kind of gives you an idea of the feeling I get when one extra cable gets plugged in and a modular soundscape will completely change. And I just think, wow, you know, I want to get it. It's a lot going on. It's very difficult to disentangle. So I'm going to do a series on the Make Noise Ocoast. It's a semi-modular synthesizer and it is compact very powerful, it can be kind of overwhelming in itself. Where the... If you have too much going on at once, it's even difficult to talk about. So my goal in this series that I'm calling One Hitch Wonders is to break it down, simplify it, Take out everything, no MIDI controller, just the power, the audio out, and one patch cable. Okay, let's get to it. I want to take a look at this from more of a troubleshooting perspective. We've got an oscillator on the note coast and here's the pitch knob for it. It comes out along this gold line. These are considered normal pathways, normal links on the system. And so you've got a triangle wave output that's coming over here coming into the balance. I've got the balance turned all the way towards the fundamental. That simplifies things where we don't have to worry about other knobs on the panel. And then this dynamics is turned up, the volume is turned up, and yet we're still not hearing anything. The reason that we're not hearing anything is that we need a voltage at this dynamics CV input that enables the dynamics circuit up here to let the signal through. We need a voltage there. We're going to look for a voltage somewhere on the panel. And the first place to start is at the voltage math output. And this is basically the drone patch that's in the Note Coast manual. And just to show you what's going on with this, I've got a voltmeter. And this yellow patch cable is plugged into the voltmeter. And I'm going to turn the voltage math knob up. And as you can see, that knob causes the voltage to change on the meter. So what we're going to do is to take that voltage and send it over to this Dynamics CV input. And then as we turn it up, we start to hear sound. And then we can, of course, change the pitch. And so that's our first tone out of this thing. Now, before we leave, let's ask the question, are there any other places where voltage comes from on here? One pretty simple one is this clock, okay? You can see the needle moving back and forth as the clock signal pings. I'm gonna unplug that, and here goes our patch cable. So that's good, another way to get sound. Then, last one, this is the stepped random voltage. And you can look and see that on this voltmeter where that over time, and it's based on the clock tempo, it will move to different voltages. And so we can just hear what that sounds like.
So we did three different things. We had a constant voltage from here that gave a nice smooth tone. Then we took output from the clock. That's choppier, some clicks. It's not really made for that, but you can still use it. And then this is the stepped random voltage that gives some changes in volume over time. And so we're starting to see some of the things that you can do with the no coast. I'll probably do one more patch after the outro. I uh, hope that you stick around for that. Okay, that was good. A few basic patches to get us started. I'm gonna come back to this single cable idea and we'll dig in deeper, get more sophisticated sounds out of the no coast. And my hope is that taken over time as a whole series, you'll find it something that is very instructive about this device. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you back here soon. I'll let this one play us out.